All right, everyone, when someone lies to, cheats on, or insults someone they love, feelings of rejection, abandonment, and fear can set in. Now, Ray Ray admits that he made some, if not all, of these mistakes in the beginning of his relationship with Kanisha. But he also says ever since their son was born, he has been a changed man. But Kanisha, lack of trust has caused her to constantly accuse him of infidelity. And he says she isn't as innocent as she would like to see. Everyone, please help me welcome Ray Ray to the show. All right, so Ray Ray, I want to start off. How did you meet Quanisha? Well, fulfilling my dream job as a 20, well, when I was 20 years old, you yeah. know, dancing, I, what I did for a living. I got bookings, I do parties, uh, costume parties, I do parades, et cetera, like everything. What like, kind of dancing is it? Uh, hip hop dance. I'm actually a hip hop dancer at that. Nice. Yes, sir. Um, so when you met her, you were talking to other girls? Yes, yes. Okay, I was. tell me about that. Well, at this moment of time, I had literally three girlfriends, so I'm living life, trying to be a little player, not looking for love, you feel me? Just I... living life, just trying to do what the young kids just running around, just living. <laughs> so you were 20 when you met her. Were you really ready to be tied down? No, I was not. Okay, so then why did you get in the relationship? It just hit me to the point where I had to talk to myself like one day I'm gonna have to sit down some way, you feel me? So. Mm -hmm. It just went like from there. All right, so I want to go back because I know you said you met her when you were a dancer. Um, this you dancing back here? Because I got a video of it. Yeah, get it, get it, get it, get it. That, that, that's that Be More dancing, yeah. right? That's that Baltimore dancing, right? Yes, sir. Hey. Hey. So, so exactly, where do you dance? I dance in no, no, North Carolina. Yeah. So, but do you dance? What type of parties do you dance? Uh, at? I dance at kids' parties. I dance in costumes, Elmo, like different characters. Everything. Oh, so you so, the, you one of them guys that we see go viral, and then the Elmo costume or Dora the Explorer costume. You probably costume. seen me go viral. It was a long time ago. The Kung Fu Panda went viral. Oh yes, I that remember was that. me. Okay, yes, sir. Okay. That's yes, sir. Sir. So you met Quenisha at a party, yes, like a sir. kids' party? Yeah, it was like a teen party where I was already booked there, you know. So I understand now why you said you had three women, and uh, <laughs> it's because I no listen, I can just, I can see it. You had a kids' party, you dancing, all the ladies are like, oh he fly, oh he's good with kids. Right. Got it. Add right. two or two together. I yeah, understand. I'm trying, you know. And so at that moment when you met Quenisha, it was you just said, I gotta do this. Yeah, something about her, it was just different about her. So how did you feel when she told you that she was pregnant? So the way it went, we was arguing and we were going back and forth, back and forth. I was packing my things like I was telling her, I'm about to go. So she hit me with the, oh, you're not going nowhere. You can go and let them girls know if you think you're about to go over there. Yeah, cut them off. You got a baby on the way. Mm. So I'm like, got a baby? What? What are you talking about? She never gave me, never told me nothing mm -hmm. about it until okay. I was doing all of this, until I was about to leave. So she hit me with that. I'm like, man, you gonna try to make it seem like you trying to trap me or something? Like you making it basically saying you want me to choose my career and stuff over for you. Okay, so once she got pregnant and you knew it, were you faithful, her, faithful to her during the pregnancy? No, I really was. I ain't gonna lie like mm -hmm. I was. I wasn't. Okay, so when did you actually stop cheating on Quenisha? I literally stopped cheating right right before my son came. Okay then, so there was a little cheating while she was pregnant. Yes. Okay then, but at, when your son came, what made you say, I wanna stop cheating? Like, it just hit me to a point because I had a time where my dad was in and out of my life. So I looked at that and talked to myself and like, I wanted to give something my son never had before, well, I never had before. Got it. So Quenisha says that she believes that you're still talking to women on your phone. Is that true? No, not okay. no more. All right. Not no more. Why do you think she feels that way? She, cause she's probably doing stuff herself. Oh, so you think she's cheating? Yes. Okay. Did Quenisha bust out your windows? <laughs> Let me tell you about that right there. See, what happened was, we was at one of my family member house she assumed I was there with a girl. The whole time, it was one of my other family members. Mm -hmm. She done hit the window, busted the window. We getting up, running out the house like, what in the world going on? So hold on, she didn't even bust the windows out of your car. She bust the windows out of the house? Yes. Yes. 
Yes. Oh my gosh. Like, I'm looking like, what in the world going on? And is this your family's house or your house? Yes, it's the family house. So this is your family's house? Yes, and they looking at me like I'm like I'm doing it. I didn't do nothing. Mm. She's assuming, going along with what she thinking in her mind. Yeah. So I'm looking, we, we went outside and everything. They had a dog almost ran up on her. I'm like, oh! Yeah. Like, yeah. you got a baby in your stomach, can't do that. Yeah. Hurt my boy, no, yeah. can't do yeah. that. Then it's gonna hurt you too. So I'm looking at her like, what are you doing? Like, yeah. why are you out here? Like, what are you doing with yourself right now? Go home. Yeah. You have a baby in your stomach. Yeah. You feel me? Like, it's the principles of everything yeah. at the end of the day. All right, so let's go ahead and meet Kamisha right now to get her side. Kamisha, come on out. I'll tell you Thank that you. much. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Yeah, take a seat. What do you have to say to Ray Ray about what you heard? Now, why are you sitting on this show lying? You have not what been I'm faithful for two years. What Let I'm me talk. About. You had your time to talk. Yeah, I'm not doing that with you. You've been cheating forever. When I first started talking to you, yeah, I met you and I knew you was talking to multiple females. But you also told me you was dropping those females to be with me. So when did you realize that Ray Ray was cheating? Um, when I first started talking to him, I realized he was cheating when the girl posted him on social media mm -hmm. and she tried to cover his face with an emoji and everybody in my family member was sending me the picture, but I know what this man looked like. I know what he, you could cover his face all day long, but I know what he looked like. I know how he dressed. I mean. So how did it make you feel when you find out when, you, when how Ray Ray reacted when he found out you were pregnant? Well, we was arguing. Um, and I, yeah, I threw it out there that I was pregnant. And when I told him that I was pregnant, it immediately was, he wasn't ready to be a father. But it's not what you want, it's what I want. I already have two other kids. I'm not, oh, I'm not the thing about right to there. get rid of my child because you don't right want there. a child. Either you step up and be a man, or either you can go. Yeah, okay. Exactly, but that's the thing. That's the most thing I was telling you. I was not financially ready. I wasn't emotionally ready. I told you that I was 100% because I was not ready at the moment. You came to me with two kids, which I was already doing that father figure with that. What, what, what can I do? When I'm trying to process, what if can I do? If you didn't want a baby, you shouldn't have been out there. <laughs> you were still doing it with it me. It doesn't matter. You knew the consequences. So Ray Ray left you for another woman. How did that make you feel? I was very high risk with my son. Oh, uh, it's like he didn't care at all. Like he was out here just staying with the female. Like she was posting him all over social media. He was posting her on social media. Like they was laying in the bed together, and I'm I'm home and I'm pregnant, and it's like he didn't care at all. Like is that true? There was never no pictures of me posting. I was never doing that. But you were, if anything, you were saying I'm gonna you be were... sneaky about it. Oh, he's lying. Um, I have proof that he was with a female because it was all on Instagram and everything of him laying in the bed with the female. He had broke his phone and one day he logged into my phone on social media and someone was just like, go check his social media. So I checked his social media and like, I just seen, like, my eyes was full. Like, I seen it all, like... And this is during a high-risk preg yes. pregnancy. So what happened during that high-risk pregnancy? Um, well, he, when I saw the stuff on Instagram, I saw that the girl had sent her address for him. I called one of my friends and I told her to come get me and we went to where the address was and yeah, I did go take a crowbar and I went over there and I showed my tail because you really playing me in my face when I've been here for you when nobody else wasn't, so. Why y'all clapping for her taking a crowbar out? <laughs> Why y'all taking a crowbar for, we, we y'all clapping for a crowbar? Okay. So, so but I, I understand the pain, I understand your hurt, your pain, you felt like at yeah, that moment that's how you react. Yeah, because I was faithful for a long time, and when when you get tired, you get tired. I done been through that before. I done been hurt before. So it's not like he didn't know that I had been hurt before. It's not like he didn't know mm. my past or yeah. what I've been through. So the violence was based on underlining other trust issues. I got it. So how's the relationship been since your son has been born? Um, when my son was born, um, he left me in the house after I, I came home from the hospital for a whole week. Had my car. He went and stayed at a family member house. And my producers told me that you were laying in bed with staples in your stomach. Yes. And you were alone for a week. Yes. Ray Ray, what, 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 what's going on there? I was with her, man. 
I she's was saying, with you, her. She's, she's saying, saying, saying that just to make me look bad right now. I'm not saying nothing to make you look bad, but we all Ask know her, you stay at a family member house. She called me. I was there. She, you I was there when I had when I had our but son. But you're you saying was. that I was never but there. But when I came home from the hospital, you went and stayed at a family member's exactly, house. Exactly, I did. Okay, you just said you didn't. So which one? I'm is telling it you, you no, know, I did? was at a family member house. Okay. You said I was staying. So you stayed at your family member's house for a whole week. Um, when I was calling you and texting you, some days you weren't answering the phone, some days you was, but your excuse was that my brakes went out on my car and you had to get them fixed. The car was whole live about to break down. She well, didn't maybe even it get should have broke down the, while uh, you was in it. The axle was you broken. Wasn't being a so that's the main thing that's in, with a car anyway. I'm gonna say this. One week for to fix brakes is no excuse not to be Flex. with your son, <laughs> newly born, in my opinion. Look at this, unhealthy. You left her while pregnant. You know that's unhealthy. You admit to cheating. I know it's unhealthy. But the biggest one for me that you said is the rejection. Rejection is the reason that there is no trust in this relationship. Because once you reject somebody, especially in a vulnerable place, as pregnancy, that's when it's done. Quanisha, you up here too. All right, not only did you admit to cheating, which you, you know is unhealthy, violently damaging property. Again, when you do that, you have completely broken trust. Because now, not only can I not trust you with what's going on, but something like the audience says, now I can't trust you with my property. I don't know if you're going to overreact. But the biggest one that I saw for you, and you see it there, you see it. Do you have a bullying nature? Do you know that? Yeah. So I felt like I wasn't wrong for busting the windows. You done broke TV, so I mean, it that wasn't one a, my, That wasn't my windows. It, I, that I, wasn't I, my house. You, you was there with a female, so it doesn't matter. This is what you call a codependent relationship, okay? This is codependency. And the issue is it that you have a child now that has made this codependency even worse. Because as we just saw, this picture of each of you, where your rejection, where you're doing unhealthy things like breaking stuff, damaging stuff, lying to each other, the fact that you're coming back is because you are codependent on each other. Because both of you are afraid to be alone. Why are you afraid to be alone? Because I done been through a lot um, growing up and um, with my past relationships. Yeah. Um, and it's like when I jumped into a relationship, when I, when I got out of a relationship, I just rushed into one with him. Yeah. But me thinking he's going to change um, and not do what my past did, um, I have a lot of joy when it's all five of us together. I get it. I get it. Your girl's crying over here. Why are you looking away? Look at your girl. I don't like to see her cry. She knows this. She know I love her to the death of my heart. I admit my wrongs. Yeah. But we have to move together, not one by one. Oh, I know. Like, Listen. But there's something, the reason why I asked you that, and it's very critical, especially for you as a mother, okay, is because right now, I know you've had a lot of pain, and I know you've had a lot of people who have broken your trust and who have tried to break you. And the, the reason I brought that last one, the bullying, is because I want you to know that I understand that it's actually a defense mechanism. You're trying to protect the bit of your heart and the bit of your emotions that you have left. Yeah. Am I, you're trying to protect it. Yeah, and he knows that. I'm, I'm gonna tell you sh straight up, I am sorry for the past relationships. I am truly sorry for even the family members who are talking down to you. And I am even sorry for this man who's re-triggered you over and over again. And I, I believe both of y'all are triggering each other, but I will say I'm sorry also for that. And I'm specifically talking to you right now because as a mother, a lot of the things that you're doing, your kids are gonna pick up these behaviors and know if this is what's right or wrong. And so I want to teach you and empower you to know that you have to take time for yourself so that you can start to heal yourself, so that you can start to figure out how to clear those voices out so you can get your strong self. You should not be jumping back into a relationship. And so what I'm going to tell you right now, y'all moving back in together is the wrong decision on the face of this earth. Listen, the comments were right. When someone said, y'all gotta stop going to each other's phone, y'all gotta break this up, y'all gotta y'all doing tit for tat, they were right. And y'all need to start to figure out how to separate so you can build yourselves up alone and not together. And maybe one day when y'all get to a healthy place, y'all can come back together. But I tell y'all, if y'all stay and get back in the house, those children are gonna have the worst behavior model to them. And in 20 years, I'm gonna have your kids on this couch talking about, I saw mommy and daddy do this.
Is that what you want? No. Is that what you want? Then make the decision now for a better tomorrow. All right? Yes, sir. All right, everyone. Hold on. Where are you going? I'll tell you where you're going. Right here to subscribe and right here to watch more. Period.